What's up guys, today I'm going to be talking about the S4 Pro with its Adreno 320 graphics. If you've seen a lot of my other videos, I've been talking about this because it's now uh, being incorporated in a lot of smartphones and tablets. I just thought I'd let you know what it's about. And The S4 Pro is this one here we're looking at, up to 1.7 dual or quad core crate. Um, the ones we've seen so far are 1.5 gigahertz quad core crate. Now if you don't know what crate is, this is what crate is. Normally in like the Galaxy S3 we've been used to Cortex A9 cores. Crate is here and it's getting closer, very close to the Cortex A15 cores. Oops. The reason getting closer to the Cortex A15 cores is better is, well one reason is it's based on the process technology is smaller so it means the chips smaller, it means that there's less heat you can higher the clock rate it's just overall a lot better the higher clock rate the lower heat means we get better performance you know a set of um, A15 cores or like a dual core A15 processor versus a Cortex A9 processor the A15 will smoke it even if the clock, clock rate is set the same it's better architecture and that's what's important to get to so crate you can see is nearly at the A15 range it isn't quite there I mean it is pretty much there but there's a few things that it hasn't quite got um, as you can see here just uh, google crate CPU if you want to look at these more in detail but yeah so the S4 Pro also comes with the new Adreno 320 graphics which I'm going to talk about a bit more later um, you can see there the process technology again is 28 versus the I think the A9's are yeah the A9 Cortex goes from 4540 to 32 um, most likely we've, we've been dealing with 45 and 40 on our Cortex A9 cores in smartphones which is why sometimes they can warm up and the performance isn't that good and stuff like that so we are getting smaller and smaller in terms of the architecture which is much better in terms of performance so yeah Oops. so yeah that's that's basically I mean there's loads of stuff you can actually talk about I'm not going to go into the main details about pipelines and you know all that kind of stuff let's check out the Adreno 320 GPU and we've got some benchmarks of it here this is their new GPU um, you can see here it's running hitting the frame limiter 60 frames per second so it's hitting the VSync frame limiter on all on these tests here now this one is an, is an interesting one the GL Benchmark Pro off-screen 720 Pro. The only thing that beats the Adreno 320 is the Epic GPU that's in the iPad 3. I mean, it doesn't get close. The iPad 3 with the Power VR image processor is, um, yeah, no, nothing gets close to that. Uh, let's be honest. But if we look at the Adreno versus, say, the old Adreno, you can see a major difference. Even against the Tegra 3, which has a good GPU, a big, big difference, right? They don't have the Mali 400 and the Galaxy S3 on this page, so I don't know how well it stacks up against that. But just taking into account the 320 versus the Adreno 225, yeah, you know, it's a big increase, nearly double. So, let's check out some other ones. Again, the off screen one, the only thing that beats it. And not by a long shot is the iPad 3 one. So the Adreno, you can see, is really, really holding well. And again, this says it's nearly twice as fast as its original Adreno, uh, yeah, Adreno 225. That starts talking about the CPU, which can't, I'll, I'll go into later, I think. Um, but yeah, the only problem with the Qualcomm Adreno 320 is the fact that its main competitor isn't the Mali 400 from Samsung, it's the Mali 604. Now we haven't actually seen much about the Mali 604, but I'm going to suggest it's going to come out soon. I think it'll beat it. Mali is always really, really strong, and 604 is their new GPU. It's going to be epic. 
So look out and wait out for that one. Um, but it's impressive. The Qualcomm S4 Pro is an impressive sock, you know. Um, the Adreno 320 is going to hold its own. The new architecture, the Crate CPU, it's going to be good stuff, you know. This is a very, very capable sock. So, yeah. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys later.